Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My dear students, Assalamu alaikum. I'm going to talk on the physiologic aspect of the thyroid gland, which is uh, very much important and uh, lying in the neck. Well, it's a Ramzan Mubarak, well, thyroid gland. Let's uh, We'll discuss the outline of the lecture. Well, location, and by this location, it has been called by the apple of the Adams, poem Adami, and uh, in Arabic it's known as Aghudai Kadamia. By location, structural synthesis of the hormones, storage and release, regulation of release, transport, degradation, and mode of actions. These are the uh, headings on which I will be talking. Effects and disorders. Well, location. Thyroid gland is the largest gland in the body, which is located in the neck, inferior to the larynx, spanning over the anterior surface of trachea, just inferior to the thyroid cartilage, Adam's apple, it is known. Thyroid gland is butterfly-shaped gland. You're so looking here. This is thyroid gland. Well, it's a white box larynx. It's a thyroid gland. This is a thyroid gland. And parathyroid glands, these are embedded on the posterior aspect, the artery and the vein, windpipe, laryngeal nerve. Parathyroid glands, behind the thyroid gland, they are embedded. You must keep in mind regarding its location. Structure consists of right and left cone shaped. Five into two, three into two centimeter lobes connected by a narrow region of the gland known as isthmus. One into two into one point two centimeter. Microscopic thyroid follicles are present, which produce thyroid hormone. Yes, you are looking here. This is the thyroid cartilage of the larynx. It is also known as Adam's apple. This is the isthmus, these are the lobes, right lobe, the left lobe and the trachea lying behind. These are the cartilages, C-shaped cartilages of the uh, trachea windpipe. Well, this is the microscopic anatomy, which is uh, known as a histologic features. You're looking here, the follicular cells secrete thyroid hormone, thyroid, these are the thyroid follicles. C cell secrete calcitonin and collide is a glycoprotein. This is a collide. This is a collide, the gel like material which is uh, present in the center of the follicles, which are lined by the follicular cells. And the you're looking here follicular cells, collide, and these are para follicular cells which produce the calcitonin, well, thyroid hormones. The hormones produced and secreted by the thyroid gland, you must keep in mind, thyroid gland is a endocrine gland, is a tetralis gland, thyroxine, T4 or tetraiodothyronine, T3 or triiodothyronine, and the fourth one is, cal third one is calcitonin, calcitonin. The thyroid gland, the hormones, T4, T3, and calcitonin. Synthesis. The synthesis of the thyroid hormones involves the following steps. Iodide trapping, oxidation of the iodide, organification, and coupling. One thing should be very much clear uh, that uh, the hormone, the yes, the amino acid, which is very much important, in the synthesis of the T3 and T4 is doubtlessly tyrosine, which is also of a certain significance in the formation of a catecholamines, that is the epinephrine, norepinephrine, and dopamine. Tyrosine has got a significance, it's a raw basic material for the synthesis of the thyroid hormones. Thyroid hormone synthesis and secretion involves process that occurs 
within follicular epithelial cells and in colloid. Thyroglobulin synthesis. Before discussing the steps of formation of the thyroid hormones, let us discuss the synthesis of the thyroglobulin, a heavy weight protein present in the, the colloid in the follicles. Thyroglobulin molecule is a large glycoprotein containing 140 molecules of amino acid tyrosine. Endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi apparatus in the follicular cells of the thyroid gland synthesize and secrete thyroglobulin continuously. After synthesis, thyroglobulin is stored in the follicle. Well, iodide trepin, which is very much important, by sodium iodide symporter, it's a block by thiocyanate, perchlorate, and pertechnitrate. Oxidation of the iodide by thyroid peroxidase, blocked by the large intake of iodide. When you take a large amount of the iodide, oxidation of iodine is inhibited. That is why in the preparation of the thyroidectomy, we give the large amount of the iodide. Why? To inhibit the oxidation of the iodides, to restrict the formation of the T3 and T4. Thioamides refer to the hyperthyroidism therapy. Organification, tyrosine residues of thyroglobulin are iodinated, leading to production of the monoiodotyrosine, mid residues and diiodotyrosine did residues, inhibited by large intake of iodide more than 150 microgram per day. Thioamides refer to the hyper thyroidism therapy. Yes, you're looking here, coupling. Did plus mid give to T3 diiodotyrosine plus monoiodotyrosine that give the T3 triiodotyronine. Did plus mid, that's a did plus did, that give the T4. It has been uh, mistyping over here. Please keep in mind, did plus did. Again, you're looking here. This is a cell, how the ordination and coupling takes place. This is how Golgi apparatus, endoplasmic reticulum, tyrosine is coming, mid and data form, then the proteases, and how the T3 and T4 they are being secreted. Collide droplets and mid and dit T3 and T4 they are taken by the this and by pinocytosis. You're looking here, this is the coupling and manufacturing of the T3 and T4 by these cells which is lining the follicles. Well, the addition process, thyroxine and its precursors. Thyroid hormones are made from tyrosine and iodides. These are the precursors. You're looking here, tyrosine and iodine, they form thyroxine. Tyrosine plus iodine, it also from triiodothyronine. Triiodothyronine. Yamper, as you see, two tyrosine. Yamper, two tyrosine. That gives rise to thyroxine and triiodothyronine. Storage energies. These hormones are stored along with thyroglobulin, a large weight protein release involves falling steps. Thyroid epithelial cells ingest iodinated thyroglobulin from apical surface, endocytosis. Collide field, endosomes fuse with lysosome that contain hydrolytic enzymes that digest the iodinated thyroglobulin. Free thyroid hormone diffuses across the basolateral epithelial membrane into ECF, extracellular fluid, blood. Free thyroid hormone quickly bound to carrier proteins to be transported and release the thyroid cell. This is very much.